Welcome to the world of Parkinson's art. All creations here come from the minds of artists with the disease. Paul Nichols turned to painting just a year ago. Oh, this is called Andrew. I have no idea why we call him Andrew, but that's his name. And, he, and the idea of Andrew is to depict the warrior, because everyone with Parkinson's is a warrior. We're all struggling against the condition. His head is a warrior, because that's what we are, warriors. But his hands have got boxing gloves on, because when you've got Parkinson's, it's very difficult to do small, small tasks. At the OXO Gallery on the South Bank, 60 artists are displaying their work. A project founded by Trevor Woolard. So, um, I've been living with Parkinson's for 10 years. And the aim of Parkinson's art, really, we set up a year ago uh, to provide the benefits of art to people with Parkinson's. It gives them a voice to really articulate and express themselves through the art, because one of the symptoms of Parkinson's is the cognitive thinking, and so it makes it difficult to communicate. So that art allows that medium to them to show their artwork. The main challenge is obviously with the symptoms of the, the tremors as they progress. Uh, but what we tend to find is that people adapt their artwork. So instead of doing fine art, they move towards abstract and more kind of broad brush. Um, it's a different style of art as opposed to not making it more difficult. Paul credits his new creative streak thanks to brain surgery he had just 12 months ago. 2016 I was diagnosed with Parkinson's and but my condition was getting worse and worse and worse and I was really fortunate last year to be, to be given the opportunity to have deep brain stimulus at Queen's Hospital. So whilst, whilst you're awake in this surgery they, they, they drill two holes deep into your head and they put some wires down into it and, and they connect it to, to like a pace Place making to your chest. And basically, it's transformed my life for the better. Do you think you wouldn't have been able to do this piece of art without the operation? I couldn't be here. I couldn't be. I couldn't come. I couldn't come to London. I couldn't cope with the crowds. I couldn't cope walking these distances. But since my operation, is, you know, I'm almost back to normal. But Parkinson's was never, was never the end. Parkinson's was always just the beginning for me, and so that's where I hope it's going to go now. So more art on the way. Yeah, definitely. I love it. It's fantastic. And I don't encourage anybody with Parkinson's just to give it a go. Pick a pencil, just start, just start drawing, because you never know, you could be the Oxo next year. The exhibition of all the Parkinson's artists is called Vivid Dreams and opens at the Oxo Gallery tomorrow. Rags Martel, ITV News, on the South Bank.